All right, we're back and well, I actually had a recording botch, so I killed myself to use another continue. But anyway, we are now at the space theme levels, and it is the final area of the game. It just has that feel to it. And yeah, you thought the last area wasn't playing around? <laughs> yeah, this one ain't either. Of course, the gimmick here is there is mostly red trampolines. There are only five switches, though. Also, the music here, pretty awesome. Definitely has that final area of feel. And I love the background. That space background looks awesome with the planets and shit. Definitely cool. Now we only got one switch left. This particular level, not that hard. I'm kind of surprised, though, that they would start you off kind of easy. But trust me when I tell you, they aren't fucking around anymore. Like, if you... Th I'm not kidding when I say if you thought that previous area was bad, that ain't got shit on this. Alright, this particular one. A lot of individual trampolines. And, of course, our buddy the bullet makes its return. There's two of them. And with the way... You know, with the lack of area... Holy shit, how the hell I didn't get hit there, I do not know. But anyway, with the lack of area to really maneuver, these bullets are going to ruin your day. So, you want to try and basically get to wherever you can. Oh, god damn it! Also, I wouldn't worry as much about pattern here. Just get the switches that are convenient for you to get. Here, grab these. Head down and grab this red switch. Now we're gonna head to that teleporter. That was actually dangerous to do. Because I was a little further behind. You definitely want when you make your jumps, you definitely want to be either in the center of the platform or toward oh god damn it all right fuck this i probably took out another half hours worth of footage the level itself is not so bad it's those damn bullets i'm telling you they are the worst enemy in this game by far Most of the other enemies are only assholes simply by working in tandem with the bullets. But the bullets themselves are the worst. Now it's important to note, and I don't know why I didn't say this earlier, but when you use the teleporters, enemies actually will stop for a minute to give you a chance to move. Uh, we got these last couple of switches here, and then we got one more area to go with these four switches, and we could be the hell out of here. Thank God. See, I really like that background. That is an awesome background. Alright, stage 31. More of the same thing, really. Uh, but this time they fuck with you right here. You actually have to wait for the bullet. They want you to jump over the bullet as it's coming toward you. Dick move, game! Dick move! Now we're gonna go over here and wait for the bastard. Try to trick him up. And yeah, he is going to follow you. Also, do not, I repeat, do not jump on the solid platform until... You are have taken care of everything else, otherwise you will trap yourself. Like I just did! See, I didn't realize that until it was too late. But you're supposed to get these last. Otherwise, you are fucked. And again! More deaths! Lots of them! 
Probably another half hour's worth of footage cut. And definitely several continues. Alright, let's wait for you. But the key here is to just stick to the trampoline route for now. You want to take care of every switch you can along the way on this particular route before you head to that solid area. And as long as you follow this basic path, there is enough of an area for you to actually go to. But thankfully, we only got five switches left, which means we finally can make it to that solid area. I almost got tripped up by going that way. Thankfully, I managed to trick the bullet. I go over here. And now we just got these four switches. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ! How the hell did I get away with that? I'll, I'm not going to complain. I'll take it. But how the hell I got away with that, I do not know. And the final level of the game. Level 32. Ugh, God, this is a mess. <laughs> Basically, there are only four switches, and you have to navigate your way to them. However, one of the switches is blocked off by broken trampolines. Thankfully, all of the switches in this level are green, so you have to find the three accessible switches before you find the last switch. And I don't know why I didn't just jump there. Okay. This can be a pain in the ass to go through, especially because you have three bullets chasing you. Or two, anyway. You got two bullets chasing you, and they can easily ruin everything. And yeah, I'm down to 88 continues. Alright, let's try this again. Oh, god damn it. God damn it, the flying saucer. Yeah, they could be a pain in the ass in this level because they could just kind of show up out of nowhere. Okay, one switch left. One switch left. Let's find it and get the hell out of here. Fuck my life. Fuck my life. Let's move on. Let's try this again. <laughs> Don't you want your last minute instructions? <laughs> God damn it, no. Fuck that. We're done with this level. I'm not putting up with that shit anymore. Alright. Now we just got one more switch to go. As long as we can escape these fuckers and find it, then we have no common. Yes, there are three bullets here. God damn. And... We got it. Thank God we are done. Sort of. We're not completely done. We've beaten every regular stage in the game. However, there is a stage 33. And it's a boss fight. Fuck this boss. Thankfully, they give you a ton of P, P switches or P blocks to help you fight this thing. However, this boss is obnoxious to fight. First off, it takes up a huge portion of the area, so you kind of are stranded to specific sides. You know, unless you may- Oh, God damn it! Holy shit, how I got away from him, I do not know. But anyway, you have to use the P-Switch to hit specific points on this boss. And another thing, fuck the camera. 
The camera in this part is complete bullshit. It does not center with you at all. Ugh, awful. Awful camera. Look at this. This boss can kill you easily just because of the camera alone. Then they had to give this thing bullets and these arms. Which, by the way, yeah, those are part of the switches you have to hit with the P-Blocks. And there was nothing I could do there. I had no escape! First thing you want to do is you want to kind of break these sides. There's one on the left, one on the right, one up, and one down. So in the cardinal directions, basically. Those are the first four you want to focus on. They're probably the easiest to hit, but they're also at the same time probably not easy as well because of the whole, you know, camera being a complete douchebag. I w this is probably the only part of the game that I would say is objectively not good. The boss wouldn't be so bad if it weren't for the camera. Anyway, um, his arms are also part of the switches. Right, let's try this one more time. And yes, I used a bunch of continues there too, and a bunch more lives. Thank God I put that 99 credits in. Also, don't be afraid to use the trampolines here. They can help you get away. Unfortunately, you can corner yourself by staying on the solid platforms as much. But yeah. Those big arm things that come out flailing, those are also switches that you have to hit with P-Balls as well. Uh, there's four of them. Of course, there's the, uh, the four sides. And then I think there is the gun turrets, which I think you can only hit as they're firing. But I can't really tell you because I can't see them as I hit them. So I don't exactly know what I'm hitting. I'm just assuming that's what I'm hitting. If the camera wasn't such ass, I probably would be able to tell you. But I can't. Because the camera is ass. God damn it. Now the arm will only be destroyed if you hit the very front portion of it. They kind of signal that by putting the little flame things on the end of it. I'm not exactly sure what those are. Spikes? It's hard to really tell. Anyway, there's only two things left to kill here. Since I can't see, I can't tell you what they are. I'm assuming it's one of the turrets that I didn't break. And that's exactly what I think it is. I think it is the turret. So the last two... So basically, yeah. You have to kill the four arms, the four turrets, the four sides. And then the last thing you have to kill is that core in the middle. And yeah, this boss is going to take time. It, it, part of it is simply because of the camera. You can't see what you're doing. So... You know, you don't know where you're aiming. And I hadn't figured out by that point that it was the turret. I, well, I had an idea, but... I didn't have the, uh, the means to. But, thankfully, we killed the core. That thing is dead. This game is done. What do I think of Trampoline Terror? I really like this game. Not too many people know about it, and not too many people have played it on YouTube, or at least have done full playthroughs. Um, it's a quirky little puzzle platformer that not too many people play. It has good music. Uh, really good, you know, uh, colors, you know, a lot of vibrant colors. Uh, just overall, 
honestly a really fun game. I put it on my top 10 Sega Genesis games list, and I still stand by that. Awesome game. Anyway, that is going to be it for this playthrough. I want to thank you all for watching. I want to thank you if you were playing along. Uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I hope, I hope I encourage some of you to play this game. But anyway, until next time, I'm Iron Fury. Take care and thanks for playing.